A proposal to put an immigration detention center is under consideration now by the city of Ionia. And while the center could boost to the local economy, ICE detention of immigrant violators has drawn criticism around the country. 24 Hour News 8's Barton Dieters is live in Ionia with how this idea could impact the city. Barton? Well, Brian and Sue, Ionia has a history of prisons that goes back more than 125 years. But this detention center would be different. Dennis Muchmore, an attorney and one-time member of the administration of former Governor Rick Snyder, now represents Virginia-based Immigration Centers of America, a private company that wants to build a $40 million facility at the site of a former prison. It would employ as many as 250 and hold as many as 600 detainees. No one wants to be uh, detained, uh, and, but these people are not criminals. Uh, they're just in the country illegally. He says it would not be a so-called family facility. I don't think anyone wants to see family detention, and this, this is not envisioned in this proposal. Immigration advocates are absolutely opposed to a facility that holds people charged with civil infractions behind bars. There are a lot of alternatives to jailing people to get them to show up to court. Hendricks says most detainees have no other criminal charges and are not dangerous. The company made a detailed proposal to city council members Tuesday night. Well, I think the reaction's been exceptionally uh, rational. I believe, you know, the community, of course, is, is used to correctional facilities. Federal government approval has been slowed down because of the government shutdown. City officials were not available on camera, but the mayor said that while the economic impact is obvious, it is still a matter that has to be considered carefully. The company says a detention center will be built somewhere. Will the detention center be built? Yes, the answer is that is yes. Will it be built in Ionia? Uh, no one knows at this point whether it will be in Ionia or some other community. Now, the federal government shutdown is actually slowing down some of this process. But if everything goes as planned, this facility could be open by spring of 2020. Live in Ionia, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.